Have you ever wondered how a tiny island nation like Singapore manages its incredible public transportation system? Today, we delve into the fascinating world of Singapore's cross-island MRT line project. In the heart of Southeast Asia, Singapore, a bustling city-state, is known for its impeccable public transportation system. A new feather in its cap is the ambitious cross-island MRT line project. The idea for this project first took root in January of 2013 during the Land Transport Master Plan discussions. The project, designed to serve the transport needs of Singapore's growing population, was officially announced in 2015 as part of the Land Transport Authority's efforts to expand the rail network. The Cross Island Line, or the CRL as it's fondly known, is set to be the longest fully underground line in Singapore. With a length of about 50 kilometers, it will have approximately 30 stations. This ambitious project is being undertaken by the Land Transport Authority of Singapore. The total cost of the project, a whopping 23 billion Singapore dollars. But the benefits it brings to the table justify this hefty price tag. The CRL is set to improve the overall connectivity in the eastern and western parts of Singapore. It's also expected to reduce travel time significantly, with an estimated 200,000 households set to enjoy shorter commutes. The construction of the CRL commenced in 2019 and is expected to be completed in three phases. The first phase is scheduled for completion by 2030. The Land Transport Authority has teamed up with international and local contractors to ensure the project's smooth execution. But why does Singapore need this project? With a growing population and the city-state's commitment to sustainable development, the Cross Island MRT line is a necessity. It's part of Singapore's larger vision to transform the public transport system into a more convenient, efficient and sustainable mode of transportation. In conclusion, the Cross Island MRT line project is a testament to Singapore's commitment to improving its public transportation system. It's an ambitious project that promises to transform the way Singaporeans commute, reducing travel time and bringing about a more connected city. From its inception in 2013 to its expected completion in 2030, the Cross Island MRT Line project is a journey that weaves together the threads of vision, ambition and sustainable development. It's a story of how a small city-state is making big strides in the realm of public transportation. And that, my friends, is the story of Singapore's Cross Island MRT Line project.